you will need the Handy Guitar Lab for G24. Unfortunately, this mobile app costs 99 cents. I'm not sure why Zoom insists on gouging their customers for more money for an app that should be free. I also don't understand why Zoom couldn't include a desktop app for Windows and the Mac. Nonetheless, the mobile app is handy for creating, editing, and doing patch management. Though my daily driver smartphone is an iPhone 12, I also own a Samsung smartphone, so I bought the Handy Guitar Lab for G24 twice. I would say that the Guitar Lab for G24 works better on the iPhone. Some have told me the best experience for the Guitar Lab for G24 mobile app is on a tablet or an iPad. Connect the G24 to your smartphone and start the app. In the patch section, touch select, touch select all, touch save to pool. The patches have now been saved to the patch pool, which is not in the cloud, but a dedicated space on your mobile device. Saving patches to the pool creates a directory with a generated name. You can now see all the patches under the directory. I pushed and held on the directory's name to get options. I then selected Edit Patch Info to change the name of the directory to make it more meaningful. While the patch pool is nice, it only exists on your mobile device, so having an extra location to save patches to is a good practice, in my opinion. Touch select to start selecting which patches you want to save to another location. Touch the circle to the left of the patches that you want to back up. Now that I have selected all the patches, I can now touch share. The app now prepares the patches to be shared or exported. Now I touch save to files. On the iPhone, I can now see my directory structure in the iCloud and navigate to the directory I previously created for the default patches. Now that I'm in the directory, I would like to save the patches. I touch save and the patches are saved to my iCloud account. To verify the patches saved correctly, I logged into my iCloud account and navigated to the directory I selected previously. I can now see all the default patches have been backed up to my iCloud directory and they are also in the patch pool. Navigate to the patch section of the app. Touch import. I can now navigate to my iCloud account and directory to where I've backed up my patches. In this example, I navigated into the G5N Brit 800 Volume 1 directory. On a side note, all of these are chopped tone patches I converted to work on the G24. Now that I can see the patches, I can pick and choose which ones I want to import. I selected all of them. All of the patches have been imported into the patch pool and placed in a directory called New Patch Group 1. I renamed the group to make it easier to know what patches are in the directory. I then imported all of the other patches from iCloud into the patch pool. I then wanted to import all the patches under the directory called Essentials onto the Zoom G24. I touch Select, which then puts a circle on the left side of all the patches to allow you to select the patches you want to import. I then touch Copy to Device. The screen then shows the patches on the G24. You can then select where you want the patches to start importing. I select 31 and then touch done. 
The patches were imported starting at patch 31.